to continue with the common criteria. Um, now, as I mentioned, um, the, the common criteria really defines uh, what we are dealing with uh, more and more generically as the security requirements and the assurance requirements. Now, um, the uh, part, part one I've talked about uh, of the common criteria, and, and you should definitely, you know, have a look at that, uh, have a read through it at the very least. Um, and uh, it will cover, um, uh, in, in uh, general terms, uh, some of the things that I'm uh, going to talk about the terms uh, here. But um, part two is the, um, the security requirements, um, in, uh, primarily. Now, there are going to be uh, some assurance requirements uh, listed here in, in part two, um, but uh, uh, much of that is, is going to wait until uh, the uh, assur uh, evaluation assurance levels, which are primarily in part three of the, the document. Parts two and three, um, unless you are thinking that you are specifically going to be involved in uh, uh, product evaluation uh, and specifications, probably uh, not something that you immediately need to dive into, particularly uh, just for the exam. Uh, lots of valuable material, but buried in an awful lot of verbiage um, specifying exactly how you write different types of specifications. So, but uh, in terms of the, uh, uh, the security requirements um, and specifying security requirements uh, and, and that sort of thing, um, that is, uh, is in part two. And uh, there are some terms that we uh, probably need to, to at least look at. Um, the first being the protection profile. Now, a protection profile is a description um, of something, but it's implementation independent. So this is saying what something, a secure workstation, a secure communications device, a secure router, a, you know, whatever it may be, describing what it does rather than how it does it. And so, you know, we don't care about the implementation at this point. It's just a description. You know, when we talk about a secure workstation, this is what we mean. This is, this is what it needs to have. This is what it needs to do. Um, this is... Uh, well, this is the function. Uh, a description of the function. The functional requirements for this particular uh, device. And that is going to allow us, later on, to do the evaluation. Um, now, the protection profile, uh, as I say, implementation independent. So, you know, when we say a... Uh, a secure workstation. We are not caring whether it's Windows or uh, Linux or even whether it's traditional or quantum. Um, we are saying, you know, this is this is what has to happen. This is what has to be the the end result of using this particular device. These are the functions, and this is this is the profile. This is what the de device looks like in functional terms. Um, then we have a security target. Now, um, the security target uh, sounds an awful lot like a protection profile because, again, it's a set of security requirements. And 
uh, this is, uh, it's, it's, it's hard to make a hard and fast distinction. Uh, and, and sometimes when we're evaluating somebody or something, we're evaluating the protection profile and sometimes we're evaluating the security target. But again, a collection of the functions, a collection of uh, the requirements, the needs, uh, you know, what does a consumer uh, mean or, or what should they mean? Uh, what would they be generally understanding when they say we want a secure router or whatever it may be? Um, so that is, uh, you know, all of this has to be written up according to the specifications in the common criteria. Uh, and, and that's, you know, that's what basically gets you the certification um, at that side. And then we get on to the actual evaluation uh, later on in terms of does it do what it says in the protection profile or in the security target. Um, there's another term here, and that's the target of evaluation. And that's the actual device. This is actual hardware. This is very much implementation specific. This is something you buy in a box and plug in and it does things. Um, so that's our, that's our target of evaluation. Uh, trying to make sure that it meets the protection profile and the security target. Uh, when, we, when we do the actual evaluation. So there you know, are our security requirements, uh, and, I'm sorry, security functional requirements there. And as I said, you know, in, you know, occasional terms, um, we'll have some uh, evaluation requirements as well uh, in that regard. Uh, sorry, not evaluation, assurance requirements, uh, security assurance requirements to know uh, to have the, the device report that it is working properly, that it is uh, giving us metrics, uh, providing us with some reduction of risk. Uh, 